one of the reasons why for women it's so important to be on vitamin D because vitamin D acts almost as effectively as estrogen does to carry calcium from the blood vessels where it causes damage to the bones where it's needed. And vitamin, so vitamin D helps prevent osteoporosis, but you'll also see the research, vitamin D helps prevent heart disease, cardiovascular disease. And the reason is the same, because it's carrying calcium out of the blood vessels into the bones. And then at the same time, it helps reduce risk of cancer, which is brilliant. 600,000 cases of cancer can be avoided per year through vitamin D supplementation. Now that's brilliant because most things that prevent cancer, most things that prevent osteoporosis cause cancer. Hormone replacement therapy, for example, prevents osteoporosis, great, but increases cancer risk. Um, or if you choose not to take anything, then your, then your cancer risk is, is decreased, but your risk of cardiovascular disease and osteoporosis is increased. So here you have vitamin D, which is brilliant because it's reducing cardiovascular disease, increasing bone density, and at the same time reducing cancer risk. We have a vitamin D3 product. We're the only one that supplies optimal dose of vitamin D3 in a tablet form. 2,000 IUs per day. Now, remember, vitamin D is not available in diet. There's a little bit that comes from egg yolks and from liver, but not nearly enough. You're supposed to produce your vitamin D by going in the sunlight. But you need about 30 minutes of complete body exposure of bright sunlight to get your amount of vitamin D per day. That means out in the speedo or a bikini. That's what complete exposure means. It doesn't mean covering up and then, guess what? Putting on sunblock, sunblock blocks 90% vitamin D production, and then actually not even going in the sun anyway, because you're in the house in the morning, in the car in the afternoon, uh, driving to work. And by the way, glass shields UV rays, so the, the UV rays, although you feel warmth, it's the infrared rays, you don't get the UV rays that cause vitamin D production. You go into the office, you work, you come back home in the evening, you're not producing enough vitamin D at all. And these were studies that were performed that showed this in Australia and New Zealand. We haven't done the studies in this country yet. But why it's important is Australia and New Zealand have the same levels of sunshine that we get. It's not like uh, the Scandinavian countries or the northern Canada, Canadian areas where we know that there's low levels of vitamin um, of, of, of sunlight. Here it's a bright, sunny country. And what they found was 80% of elderly people are deficient in vitamin D. What does vitamin D do? Protect your heart, prevents osteoporosis, prevents breast cancer. Let me just quickly show you something. The biggest killers of South Africans after HIV AIDS, the number two killer is heart disease. Uh, in other words, stroke and, and, um, and, stroke and, and, and heart attack. The number three is um, cancer. Number four is diabetes. Guess what's so amazing about vitamin D? protects against heart disease, protects against cancer, protects, reduces risk of diabetes as an anti-diabetic um, uh, vitamin also. Um, and up to 80% of individuals in Australia are deficient in vitamin D. And we would have the same thing here because we have the same levels of sunlight. And in particular, they also found that 80% of all dark-skinned people in Australia are lacking in vitamin D because the dark your skin is, the more you're protected against UV light and the less vitamin D you produce. So we're not getting enough. Diet can't provide enough. The recommended daily allowances now are considered to be too low by, both, by most medical experts. 400 IU seems way too low. It should be more like 1,000 to 2,000 IUs. So my feeling is that actually more important even than supplementing with a multivitamin that gives you a little bit of everything, where you can get a little bit of everything quite easily from your diet, um, you're not going to be getting enough vitamin D. And it's particularly important to, to be supplementing with that.